Hey folks, Fernando, doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. Before I forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already so as to not miss any update. And talking about that, we're going to be doing the live stream with Matt Bracking this weekend. Not Saturday, but Sunday because of, you know, that's the time we, we, we can. So we try to do it adjusted to the time we have available because we know that you guys like it. And we like doing it as, as well. But keep that in mind. And if you uh, subscribe to the channel, you'll get the notification if you hit that little bell button button there on the side and you can just check the the live stream when we do it now you probably know about the news regarding Donald Trump testing positive coronavirus and I went online and I was surprised to see a lot of people pretty much like it's the end of the world like this is you know horrible the worst possible use well getting coronavirus is not fun but let's keep you know things in perspective first of all He's, yes, of course, he's not a, 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 a young guy, you know, he's a, a, a gentleman of a certain age, and he's not exactly in perfect shape, right? Having said that, coronavirus is really not all that likely to uh, become something life-threatening for him at all. You know, statistics just don't show that, and he has, of course, the best healthcare available to any human being in the planet. So if you combine those two, he's going to be just fine. Let's, let's keep it real. He's not going to be getting bad, you know, worse or anything. He's just going to be just fine along with his wife as well, with, with the first lady. So regarding health, he's going to be okay. Now, the interesting thing, which I think a lot of you guys are not understanding, this is fantastic for his numbers. And there is such a thing called um, a sympathy vote. You know, when something bad happens to you, people feel, you know, bad about it and you get more votes. It is simply a reality. This happened in Argentina to the first, um, the former first lady, Cristina Kirchner, with her husband, the former president, Néstor Kirchner, dying in the middle of the election. That gave her a huge boost and she ended up winning by a landslide. Now, you may be thinking, okay, that is just your, you know, observations, whatever. Actually, no, no, no. Actually, I have some solid numbers that you will uh, find quite interesting. Because there is a case of uh, Prime Minister of UK, Boris Johnson, who is actually a very similar character to Donald Trump. Even on the physical appearance, the way he handles politics, he's very similar to Trump. Now, Boris Johnson, as you probably know, he also got sick with coronavirus. He got, got infected. I went and, took, and, and checked out his approval rating before the infection and after the infection. Now, when the rumors were starting and then he tested positive, before this, before coronavirus, Boris Johnson had an approval rating of 46% positive, 42% negative. Okay, so 46% of people thought he was doing a good job um, 40, 46% of people had a, a positive uh, opinion of him, 42% had a negative one. Now, right after he got infected, about a month later, his approval rating was 66%, his negative rating was 26%. So you're talking about a 20% swing, his approval rating jumping about 20%. That is huge. That is a number that it's terrific in the middle of the election. And it just peaked a month after the news broke that he was infected, give or take. So this is a perfect time for Donald Trump to get coronavirus because his approval rating will go up because of this. Don't, don't even bother worrying about it. It will go up because of this. It happened to Boris Johnson. 20% is huge. It's not some little fluke. And when you look at his rating throughout, it, it was just pretty bad before and it was bad afterwards. But during that time, when, when you are sick, when people are wondering if you're going to be okay or not, about that few weeks, that month, give or take, your approval rating goes up a lot. That sympathy vote exists and it was proven recently specifically with a guy very similar to Trump, also infected with coronavirus in just you know months before this. So you have that in a, again, a, a, an English speaking Western nation with so many similarities. You just cannot avoid looking at this and understanding that this is gonna be benefiting Trump, not just a little bit, but a lot. His numbers are going to be a lot better in the following weeks from now. Guys, this is, you know, of course, no one wants to get sick, but he's going to be just fine. And this, in terms of the election, 
uh, you couldn't have hoped for better news than this. It's going to be very good for him. And this is probably the thing that's going to be winning him the election. If there was anything of a, you know, a, a doubt of a number that was just too close, this is going to be tipping it in his favor without any doubt. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. So that's it, folks. Don't, it's not all really bad news. It's actually, at least in terms of numbers, it's likely to be very positive. Have a great day. See you this weekend in our live stream with Matt. Take care.